Hi, this is AJ Skylexo, and welcome to another tutorial. Today we'll be learning how to make a palazzo trouser. I'll be guiding you on the step-by-step -step method on how to sew this trouser. Well, if you don't know how to make your pattern, because we'll be cutting this, we'll be cutting the trouser from an already made pattern. So if you don't know how to make the trouser pattern, either your straight, your palazzo, or your boot cut pattern, well, check the link in the description box. Then you learn how to make. The pattern and with this with this sewing method you could sew your straight trousers like you sew your boot coat and you could sew your palazzo so after this tutorial i'm sure you could use that pattern to create any trouser of your type and then make the trouser of your choice so join me as we get to the work station and get started so for your palazzo trouser this is the pattern already made like i said if you want to learn how to make this pattern check the link in the description box on how to make your pattern so we'll be cutting this pattern on this fabric and before you cut your pattern make sure your fabric is on fold this fabric is on fold so it has stripes so you might not see it very well that's why we're not doing any joints on the trouser we're just using our pattern to create this so just your fabric on fold you place your pattern so now i want to cut it i place the pattern and don't forget uh, when i was making the pattern i said the my, my length the measurements my true trouser length is longer than the paper so i just said when i'm cutting on fabric i'll add it so i'll add the extra on the fabric when i'm cutting the other thing is this is not my exact crotch measurement and this is not my hip drop i removed two inches that will be serving as band so i'll be starting i'm not i'm not starting for if you look at me i'm not starting from the end of the fabric I left half inch. This half inch now will join the half inch on the band. So I'm cutting a band of two inches to join to this trouser later. So this is it. My pattern on fold. Look at this on fold. The right, this is the right side. This is the wrong side. So whatever fabric you're using, you could just use your chalk to draw lines on the wrong side so that you know the wrong side. So this is my pattern on fold now. This is the front uh, trouser block, so I want to cut it now. Let me just place something on it because the material is a little bit very, very, very free. So I'll just cut. So this extra I'm cutting is because I said my full length is longer than the trouser. But if your pattern can take your full length well you don't need to cut the extra whatever extra you are cutting should just be your your sewing allowance that is your hemming allowance then this is the side i could choose to cut it like this but i just want to tear it by the side like this because it's palazzo if i was making a straight trouser i would follow the straight trouser line to cut so i'll just cut it like this watch closely because I'll be cutting from the waist side. I want you to see how I'll cut it out. Please, I'm only cutting like this because it's a palazzo trouser, so I don't want to just waste fabric. Okay, so now this is the waist side. The waist side where it's curved, so I'll just take it from here like this. So you can see it. Then I'll cut. This other part following this shape. So when I'm done cutting, I'll cut the back as well like this, and then we see what it looks like. So now I want to cut the the band. And we said, I said I ready. I I moved two inches from the trouser length at the waist side because I want to add band to it to give it a, a different kind of look and finish. So this band now, I'll be cutting two and a half inches band because. Um, is a two inches band I need, so I'm cutting two and a half. So the other half on the two inches will join the other half to join the trouser. So you left two inches band. So I'm cutting two and a half. So just the band is on fold now, so that it will be thick, so it will be doubled. So meaning that when it's open, it will be five inches, but when it's closed, it will be two and a half. So I just mark it out like this and then cut it then for the length of the band i'll be using the length of my waist because the material is super stretchy i reduce like two inches from the length of my waist so since my waist is 35 i'll be cutting like 
32 inches or 31 because the material is stretched. So if you still stretch to 35 when I make the band. So just this is just the way to fold your band and cut. So when I'm done, you still see what it looks like. And when I'm joining it to the fabric, you still see it. So, okay, so now we're done cutting the front pattern, the back, sorry, the front uh, trouser block, the back, and then the band. This is the band on fold. So now I want to join. So how do you join your trouser? You bring the two fronts together, the right side facing each other. So this is the wrong side and this is the wrong side. The right side facing each other. You place it carefully together and then you pin. You pin the crotch. You just pin the crotch round like this. In case you are adding zip, then you, you, you leave them to the hip line then add your zip on the hip line. But I'll be adding zip to the side of this trouser, not to the front of the back. If you're adding zip to the back, the same thing. Just leave from the end of the, from the waist of the skirt, leave to maybe one inch above the hip. Here you add your zip and you sew the many parts. But I'll be adding zip to either the front or the back. So I'll be sewing it, I'll be closing it. So I'll just use my pin now, both of them together now, the two fronts together with it right side facing each other, I'll just pin it, then I'll be sewing it with half inch or one inch, this material is stretchy, so if I sew with one inch, it might always still come out big, so I can, uh, with half inch, it might still come out big, so I can sew with one inch to get the perfect finish. So I'm done pinning now, and I'll do this, I'll repeat the same process for the back pattern, the back trouser, sorry. So with the wrong side, the right side facing each other and the wrong side facing you, I'll still place it like this and pin. And I said, if you want the zip to be at the back, then you just measure from here, from the waist to whatever, to one inch above the hip and then add your zip. This is like one inch above the hip. You can leave, leave it, then sew it to the end, then add your zip later with the other allowance. Just then if you want to learn how to make your zip fly or you can leave me a comment in the comment section and i'll show you how to make a zip fly and how to add pocket to your trouser so this is the i'll still pin here down to, to the end so when i'm done pinning the back and then the front that i've pinned to the I'll take it to my sewing machine, sew it like this to this end. So when I'm done sewing the front and then sewing the back, you see what it looks like. So now I've sewn the crotch of the front and the back pattern. So the next thing I'll do is, if you open it now, you see that it's already coming in place. So this is the legs of the trouser now that is open. So the next thing I'll do is either the front or the back, place one like this on your table or your, your working surface. This is the side we, we saw the allowance on. So this is the front of the correct side of the fabric. So you place the correct side facing each other, the back and the front of the trouser like this. And you notice that when you place it, this, the front trouser is looking smaller. Look at, you can see the excess is smaller. So no, no problem. Just place it like this together, then you pin this side of the, the trouser from the waist down to the end of one leg like this. You pin it down, then this open over here, you pin the second side of the trouser from the waist and then to the end. When you pin, you can sew it to the end. When you are done, I'll show you what to do. So I'll pin both sides, but on one of the sides, I'll leave some inch as zip allowance. Like I told you I'm adding zip to the side of my trouser, so I'll leave some inch for zipper allowance. Now I've sewn the sides of the trouser. This side and this side that is joining the back and front block together now on the side. So what is left now is the middle opening. So I want to sew this middle opening and our trouser will almost be ready. This will be 75% or 80% ready. So the next thing to do first of all before pinning the legs is to pin the two crotch together so place it so that the lines touch each other then pin like this 
pin it straight like this don't pin it like this pin it straight like this so that if you're sewing with a sewing machine your machine will climb the, need, the, the pin and it will not break your needle so and, and at the same time it will not shift from this joining so just pin here i remove the pin because it's not placed properly so just pin here then you cannot come back to the leg pin this side of the leg one m of the leg pin it down to this place then you start from you don't start from here down you start from this end as well pin down to this place so in that in this case when you pin like this it will come up perfect but if you just sew like that you end up seeing that one leg is longer than you know. so when i after i'm done pinning i'll just take the sewing machine and so then i'll show you how to add the band so now i'm done sewing the legs everything now is perfect and our trouser now is 80 no 90 percent ready so the 10 percent now is five percent for the band and then five percent for zip so our trouser is ready so i'll just add the band and then after adding the band i'll add the zip at the side but i'm trying to create a design on the waistline so so i'll be creating a design at the waist but i'm not too sure i'm not 100 sure but if i will do i'll guide you through what i will do just i'm just trying to be creative anyway but this is just everything about making the trouser just add your band fold your band like this and then you add it around the waistline then after adding the band you can also sew your seat but let me just see if i can create the design and if i will do i'll show you the process the design i said i was going to do on the trouser so i just you uh, cut a long piece, I folded it into two, then I pleated the end. So I'll be fixing this into the, I'll be joining this to the band and then joining the band to the main trouser. So that's just about it. So I'll join it to the band now, then I'll join it to the main trouser. Here the design to the band now. You can see it, I've added it. So what I'll just do now is pin the band around the waist of the trouser. Like this, just round the waist, and then join it with the machine. So this will just be at the end of the trouser waist, just like a design. So when I pin the band round, I just pin it round like this. Just pin it round. This is the waist of the trouser, and this is the opening where I left the zip. So I'm starting the band from one of the opening, and I'll pin round to the second opening. By the time I sew the band round. So now I will not be left to the zip allowance where I will close the trouser. So that is all about the trouser making. When I'm going home, you see what it looks like. So this is it. This is what it looks like. Oh, so you can see that it's beautiful. This is designer at the waist. And then I added the invisible zip, the invisible zip to the side. So this is it now. This is it basically. This is the end of the trouser. Palazzo trousers are folded both ends as in the leg end. So this is just basically how to make your trousers. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't subscribed and please give this video a thumbs up. Bye bye.